Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and you might be wondering what in the world we are looking at on my screen. This is an emulator called Redream. It is a Sega Dreamcast emulator, which Sega Dreamcast being my favorite console of all time and an emulator I've never been able to run on any of my computers in the past. I thought it could make for a cool first gaming video on my channel to see how my new desktop runs. Now, my setup is a little sacrilegious. I could not find the little dongle ending for my Xbox controllers. So I don't have my Xbox controllers to use. And my other gaming controller is Bluetooth only. So I can't use that. So I took some drastic measures and it was either this really old PlayStation 1 like USB controller that has a copyright stamp date on it of like 2008 or a USB N64 controller made by Retrolink. So we're playing Sega Dreamcast with an N64 controller. We're going to start with my favorite game here. This is my favorite game ever on the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, this was also on Nintendo 64. A lot of history to this game that a lot of people don't know about. Actually. So the history with this game, and I don't know how the audio is. I should probably look. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's a little loud. Let me fix it on the fly here. I think that's good, right? No? Why is it so high? Eh, whatever. We'll leave it. Or do I just mute it? I don't know. So, Nintendo 64 ended up getting this uh, game as well eventually. I think it was a year and a half after the Sega Dreamcast release. The Nintendo consoles got San Francisco Rush and Rush 2. They weren't supposed to get 2049 because it wasn't good for it. It was uh, a little too laggy on the Sega Dreamcast, or on the, uh, here, we'll do this. Can I turn it off? Thank you. It was a little too laggy on the um, N64. And so far this is running 60 FPS, which is awesome. Ooh, I don't need French. I don't know French. BMU. We're going to create a player. We'll just call me Dave, because that's my name. And then we're going to find out how this plays. Go. So, I think I'll start out with a circuit. And we'll select my favorite car here. My favorite was always this one. Uh, we're going to go manual trans, advanced handling. The starter engines don't really matter. Uh, sounds don't change. I really doubt a 6.2 liter V8 fits in this car. And especially where the driver's sitting. <laughs> uh, we're going to go turbo 350. Can't change tires yet. We're going to go light frames so I can control the car better. Small wings are fine. I always preferred a green... Oh yeah, there's more wheels in the uh, Dreamcast version too. So let's go. Let's see how a race runs. Oh my god, so far it's perfect. Shoot, nope. How do I go forward? Oh no. How do I go forward? <laughs> what is my control? Uh, L? L? No, that's break. Um, A is just putting me in reverse. That shift up. B isn't doing anything. What did I mess? Okay, it's R. So what a lot of people don't know is there's actually like engine damage and stuff in this game. And so far, this is running great. I bet you I'll catch up. But there's actual like engine damage and stuff in this game. 
you can actually cause yourself some issues. Uh, I forget what the wing button is. That one. I just set these controls up. I hadn't even tested it yet because I wanted the most accurate uh, first time play that I could have. So any other computer I've ever played this on, it lags in the next area and goes from 30 FPS to like 10. And it even does it on console. It's a big CPU thing. Just no lag whatsoever, which is sweet. I do have some stick drift with this controller, which is unfortunate. But, so far so good. I wonder if I'll be able to catch up. I know a lot of the shortcuts and stuff. I played this game for hours upon hours as a kid. If you guys still want a video of how to burn Dreamcast games for educational purposes, obviously, um, I'm still willing to make that video. Although, how many people realistically are sitting here burning Dreamcast games anymore? Not many that I know of. I could have taken that other shortcut too, but I don't want to. Kind of a nutty shortcut. But so far, not even a frame drop that I've noticed, really. So, this is fantastic. If I am able to emulate Dreamcast, we are going to have some fun in learning how to speedrun San Francisco Rush 2049. Because I don't have a capture card. So we're not able to... Well, I'm going to get one eventually. But I'd like to keep things on emulator just because it's easier for recording. But that's okay. So we are coming up. This is the last lap of this race. And I might do... The entire circuit for this video completely unedited so you guys can see it and how not laggy it is it shouldn't take me too long and that'll give us a good idea on a start of an idea for a speed run so there's me I'm the one basically and second and first very far ahead actually they're done now that I'm looking at it, but that's okay. There's a car stuck back there. There we go. Cool. Oh. Yeah, you can blow up in this game pretty easily. Sweet. All right. Next race. Let's have some story time with Dave. Story time with Dave. What do we talk about? Do we talk about the guy that called my work a couple weeks ago? Um, getting really mad at us for something really dumb. My boss basically owns multiple companies. I guess this is what we're talking about. My boss owns multiple companies, and this guy called, and I'll just say what basically it was kind of about. My boss owns not only the electronic shop I work for. Wow, that was terrible. But he also owns like a home inspections company that works with the banks and refinance agencies and all that mumbo jumbo. We had a guy call us. Somehow we got the cell phone shop phone number. I don't know how. You want to stay around 150 for this jump. I don't know how he got the cell phone shop phone number. I missed. How did I stay up? Woo! Wow, I got lucky. Anyway, he got the cell phone shop phone number somehow instead of my boss's home inspections company phone number. And he called us and he basically was just trying to dig for information about why somebody was at his house inspecting his house when uh, they shouldn't be. Lo and behold, uh, the end of the story is the guy had refinanced his house and didn't know that somebody had to come and take pictures of his house to make sure that they could refinance it safely, which is, you know, something that's very normal in the world of buying a house, especially if you're refinancing your house. So anyway, this guy calls and he's really mad. Why is somebody taking pictures of my house? And I was like, sir, I run the cell phone business. I don't. Uh, I don't do anything else. 
I don't understand anything to do with the home inspection company. And I tried to explain what the home inspection company was based on what my boss has explained before. And the guy was just not having it. He didn't understand. He was cherry picking words and only hearing what he wanted to hear. Um, so basically in the end, it was like, so you're a cell phone shop that takes pictures of people's houses. Are you a scammer or something? I was like, no, but if you let me take down your name and number, my boss will call you back in 10 to 15 minutes. He's in the bathroom, which is, I'm sure you can see where this is going. So the guy is mad on the phone. He's like, no, I've been trying to reach somebody for two hours now. And I keep getting put on hold or told to call somebody else. I want to speak with him. And I was like, well, I'm not going in the bathroom and giving him the phone. Our bathroom here at the shop is much like your bathroom at home. It's just a toilet and a sink in a room. Like, there's not stall doors and stuff like that. So I'm not handing it to him under a stall. If I walk in the bathroom, you know, I'm walking in the bathroom with him. I was like, I don't care. Go in the bathroom and give your boss the phone. I was like, sir, just wait five or ten minutes and he'll call you back. I'll just take your name and number down. He will call you back. He's very good about that. By this point, I put him on speakerphone because there's two high school kids that work with us. Um, as well as one other guy was there working with us. And they were listening to this guy laughing along at it with me. Oh boy, please, please, please. Damn. How do I respawn? I don't remember. Anyway, they were laughing along with it, along, you know, with me. And the guy finally demands it, and I just get mad at this point because he won't shut up. I just get mad, and the guy's like, go in the bathroom and give your boss the phone. It's like, sir, I don't want to walk into the bathroom with my boss. I don't want to know what my boss's penis looks like. So you can wait and he will call you back off the caller ID. I will get your number from there. Thank you. Goodbye. And I hung up on the guy because I'm not going to walk into the bathroom with my boss. And, you know, that's entirely gross. And at first, obviously, my boss was mad at me for talking to somebody that way. Because that's not going to help a situation. But I was like, sorry, I... Not good with people yelling at me for stupid stuff that's out of my control. So, my boss then ended up finally getting a hold of the guy. And, uh, talked to him for a minute. And looked back at me, put the phone on mute so the guy couldn't hear him. And he was like, okay, I'm not mad at you anymore. This guy's a dick. I don't care about what you said to him on the phone earlier. <laughs> so, lo and behold, I got away with calling somebody a dick, basically. Oh, come on. How do I respawn? I don't remember. How do I respawn? How did I change the camera? Oh, that's how. Anyway. So... I guess that's a cool story bro moment. Not really worth talking about much. Wow, I'm in second last. This shows how long it's been since I played this game. I used to be so good at this. That little car is cool too. It's like a futuristic Honda Civic hatchback. This part of the level's sweet. The jets flying over. They It sounds so cool, despite being a Sega Dreamcast game. And we're flying. I suck. So there's a little trick to this track. You can go down here. And you can get way ahead of everybody, even though you're going the wrong way. This is a little cheat that I figured out myself a long time ago. You basically go through this little gap. You can hit this button. It's whatever. And what you do... Oh, it's fixed on the Dreamcast version! So you used to be able to go through there, backwards, on the N64 version. And you could basically, even though you're going the wrong way, 
you would be able to catch up and get way in front of everybody. One of these days, I'll pull out the N64 version and show you guys that glitch. It's really funny that you can get so far ahead so easily. I think one other game I really want to do a Let's Play about is Metropolis Street Racer. Very difficult game. It'll be a game that I actually do some video editing on because it's a very long game. So I wouldn't want to make you guys like sit through unless you want me to do. So one thing I would like to try to do with my channel is Rad Brad style Let's Plays, but with older games that I can emulate that a lot of people never really did Let's Plays on because YouTube didn't exist at the time. So w some of those games would be like this one, unlocking everything in uh, Rush 2049, um, Let's Plays of Sonic Adventure, Let's Plays of games I've never beaten like Metropolis Street Racer or Tokyo Extreme Racer. Um, some other games. Crazy Taxi is a whole lot of fun. That one would be fun to stream. For sure. I love Crazy Taxi. Same with Hydro Thunder, I think, would play very well on here. Hydro Thunder is a huge laggy game on Sega Dreamcast. And I know there's a PC version of the game, so it's kind of pointless to emulate it. But honestly, the emulated version is better than the PC port. So, you know, whatever. I might as well play it that way. But... I want to do these style Let's Plays where it's very little editing unless I like have to do a level or something over and over. Or like I got to grind some stuff on my own to, you know, get ahead a little bit. But I want to do Rad Brad, uh, the Rad Brad style Let's Plays where it's very little cut out content. Uh, 20 to 30 minute episodes and you guys just get gameplay to watch and I sit and I talk about the game I talk about whatever's on my mind I talk about whatever you guys want me to talk about I could even live stream it and then just record the live streams it's there's so many angles I could take this and but the Rad Brad stuff is something I really like watching when it comes to games and I'd love to do it with classic gaming so I think I'm going to cut this video off here and we'll just call this episode zero of San Francisco Rush 2049. And we know the game runs smoothly on emulation. We know the game is good on my computer now. I still have five races to go. This video would be an hour long. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about doing Let's Plays in the style of the Rad Brad. And I'll see if maybe that's something I can get started. I also do finally have a mouse for my desktop. Thank God I found one while I was cleaning. It's a really nice mouse. It is a gaming mouse. It actually, it's the mouse that came with my original Intel i7 build and I never used this mouse. It was still in the box. This mouse may be six years old, but it's brand new. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about the idea of doing Let's Plays like that because that'll just be content I just throw up on the channel and it can be a new video every two days, even, for longer games. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to watch it back to at least make sure the audio and stuff like that is okay. But, uh, because I've never done this before. So, let me know how you guys feel down in the comments and we'll go from there. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me some ideas of some stuff to do on my channel now that I have a beast gaming rig again, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.